From a young American man whose tongue tripled in size after a bee sting to a man who was horrified to discover that his lip had doubled in size and disfigured his face, here are some strange reactions to insect stings. Kobe Freeman, a 20-year-old American, had an experience he won't forget. One day, craving a burger, this young man made himself two of those mouth-watering round sandwiches and decided to eat them outside to take advantage of the nice weather. So here he is, sitting back and enjoying his meal. But just as he had finished his first burger, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his mouth. He abandons his meal and rushes to the bathroom to see what's going on, and there, he discovers with horror a bee whose sting is planted in his tongue. Ouch! One can imagine the anxiety felt by the young man at that moment. However, he takes his courage in both hands and manages to remove the stinger. He is a little relieved, but it only makes things worse because his tongue starts to swell until it has tripled in size. Faced with this unbelievable scene, Kobe grabs his phone and films his swollen tongue from the bee's sting as he tries to explain, making incomprehensible sounds what happened to him. His video quickly went viral on social networks and thousands of internet users, concerned about his condition, rushed to give advice to the young man who asked for help. It is not known what he ended up doing, but the young man later regained the use of speech. His tongue was half deflated and he was finally able to tell his misadventure, this time in a more understandable way. Well, we're pretty sure that after this story, Kobe won't be eating out again, or at least he'll always do a little inspection of his sandwich before biting into it. Here is another story that took place a few years ago in Arizona. Thomas J., an American man aged 41 at the time, was sitting quietly at home with his wife. At one point, he decided to take out the garbage and felt bitten by something. He felt a strong pain and pressure on his arm, but he managed to chase the bug away. Back home, Thomas and his wife discovered a small red circle on his arm where the bite had been. At first, it didn't seem to worry the couple, but a few hours later Thomas's condition worsened. His arm swelled up and became bruised, requiring hospitalization. This is followed by several days in hospital and a series of medical examinations to try to understand the reasons for the reaction and to discover the culprit insect, which Thomas believes to be a camel spider. Fortunately, Thomas J. gradually recovered from his injury, but he reportedly continued to suffer from the after effects, including itching and loss of strength in his arm, for some time. Do you like this video? Then don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive all the notifications and not miss any of our next publications. Let's continue. Imagine that spring has come after a very cold winter. The sun is shining and you suddenly feel like having a picnic with your family. You pack your basket and go to the place where you have chosen to spend your day. But when you get there, you see a sign that says, beware of fire ants. You are a little disappointed and don't understand why you are forced to turn around and look for another place to picnic. After all, these little critters aren't going to stop you from having a good day. So you decide to ignore the sign, spread your blanket on the grass, and start emptying your basket. But no sooner have you settled down than you feel dozens of bugs stinging your arm or leg. You feel a sharp pain running through all your limbs, and it feels like a burning sensation. No doubt about it, you have just been bitten by fire ants that have come to defend their anthill. These ants are known to cause this burning sensation, hence the name they have been given. Moreover, their venom is considered one of the most irritating in the world. So you won't be surprised to see hundreds of tiny, distinctive pimples appear on your skin as a result of your immune system's reaction. But with a little luck, the pain and itching will disappear after a week, and your picnic will be a thing of the past. At least you will have learned that these little bugs should never be taken lightly. It is not known what kind of insect disfigured this man, but it is conceivable that he did not even realize he had been bitten. It probably happened at night while he was sleeping or napping. He goes to the mirror to take a look and there, ah, he discovers with horror that his lip has doubled in size and disfigured his face. It must be an insect, he says to himself, but there's no time to lose. Our friend consults the doctors, who are surprised to see him. But then he decides to film himself and talk about what just happened to him, in a slightly mocking tone. In the video he shares, the young man appears completely disfigured and has so much difficulty in speaking that it arouses pity in some and hilarity in others. Fortunately, the sting was not life-threatening, and in fact, he himself says that he feels fine in the video. All's well that ends well. The sting is now a bad memory, but the work left by this insect will remain forever engraved in his memory. 
Another man experienced the same situation, except that he knew where and how it happened. This Canadian man, named Bob Williams, was in his garden when he was stung by a bee on his mouth. He was out enjoying his beer when he realized that a bee was on his glass. Unfortunately, he didn't realize it until it was too late. With his glass in his mouth, he was enjoying his cold drink, but what had to happen happened. The bug ended up biting him. The result, a swollen lip and incredible pain. But rather than cry about it, the 50-year-old decided to laugh about it. Well, it was worth it because this man really did look like he was in a science fiction B-movie. Many people get hurt by insect bites, but while some people make the best of it, others pay a high price. This is what happened to Danilo Cellano, for example. This Italian cyclist was about to take part in a race in France. Like all riders, he was hoping to win the trophy, or at least a place on the podium, but to everyone's surprise, he didn't take part in the competition. The reason? The cyclist was bitten by an insect in his left eye, and this caused an incredible allergic reaction. Despite this, Danilo still had hopes of participating in the race, but his eye had completely changed. Because of the malignant sting, his eye had swollen to the point where he was unable to see properly, forcing him to withdraw. What bad luck. But you only have to look at the state of his eye to see how unrecognizable the Italian cyclist has become. Patrice Genet, a French man in his 60s, had a terrible experience that almost cost him an arm. After a day at work, the green space officer in a municipality had gone home to rest and was getting ready for a good night's sleep, but he had no idea what was going to happen to him. While he was sleeping, the man was bitten on his left arm by a brown recluse, a highly venomous exotic spider. When he woke up, Patrice felt a sharp pain, and he was amazed to discover a bite on his arm and noticed that his hand continued to swell during the following day. He then decided to consult his doctor, and simply took the antibiotics that the latter prescribed, hoping that his condition would improve. But as time went by, things got worse for the 60-year-old and he risked having his arm amputated. Fortunately, he is saved in extremis thanks to a series of surgical operations, including an incredible life-saving skin graft. Well, I don't need to give you details of this spectacular operation or show you what Patrice's arm looks like, but one thing is for sure, this man's condition has improved since. Today, Patrice is slowly recovering from his injury and has even managed to regain some use of his hand. However, it will be impossible for him to return to work. Imagine spending your holiday in an exotic part of the world, and by misfortune, you find yourself in an embarrassing situation because of an insect bite. What a waste. Natasha Porter, a young British woman, has had this experience, and she can testify to it. A few years ago, this young woman had just started a trip to Australia. She was looking forward to an unforgettable holiday. Unfortunately, her trip soon turned into a nightmare. The young woman was bitten by an insect while sunbathing, eager to savor every moment of her trip. The reaction that follows is both incredible and terrifying, as Natasha loses feeling in some of her limbs, and gradually becomes paralyzed from the neck down. The doctors are clear, it was a mosquito bite that caused Guillain-Barre syndrome, an autoimmune neuromuscular disease responsible for this paralysis. The result, several weeks in hospital and a fatal risk for the young woman. Luckily, she was able to beat the disease and gradually regain feeling in her limbs. Do you think she decided to stay at home and not travel after that? Not at all. On the contrary, Natasha realized that after what had happened to her in Australia, she didn't want to waste any more time and was therefore determined to continue her adventures without stopping. Some people will do anything to experience something weird, like the pain of a bug bite for example. Coyote Peterson has made it his specialty. This American adventurer and animal specialist wanted to know what a velvet ant sting, a type of wasp whose sting is extremely painful, would be like. He made the crazy decision to travel to Arizona to meet this creature whose stinger is as big as its abdomen. Once there, Peterson went in search of a female because only females have a stinger. He finds one, lets himself be stung, and he is overcome by pain. An unbearable terrible pain that makes him scream at times. The sting of a velvet ant usually lasts about 30 minutes, so you can imagine the relief this intrepid adventurer must have felt after that time. Phew! This is an experience not to be repeated in the future. Sometimes, while surfing the net, you can come across quite impressive and even repulsive images. Now imagine yourself sitting quietly in front of your computer or smartphone. You are looking for some images of the hole in the ozone layer for a presentation you are going to give tomorrow. But as you are deep in your research, the web pulls up an image that suddenly catches your attention. You look closer to your screen to get a better look at that hand or foot full of holes on the surface. But you drop your camera and rush out of your room, horrified and sweating. You still had time to write down the name of the creature responsible for all those holes. 
a giant water bug. But don't worry. There's no need to worry because this bug can't cause all this. Indeed, this image is a pure fake that was intended to scare tripophobes like you. You then quietly return to your room to work on your presentation, still a little scared but relieved. Isn't that so? Ah, insect bites. Have you ever had a painful or strange reaction to an insect? Tell us about it in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video.